Three loves and fabulous, done, that's me, hi. I'm Amy Studebaker, interior designer, entrepreneur, and expert dreamer. Everything I've achieved has been the product of high speed, let's go, and big vision. You're very brave. I'm on a mission to take the dreams you have for your home and turn them into reality. I like it so much. I'll be showing up when you least expect it. When it comes to your dream room, all I need is a day. Oh my gosh! This is Dream Room in a Day. Another day, another dream room. Oh God. I love getting to see the surprises on people's faces when they walk in and they see a space that just feels like them and functions for their life. And all in a day, very exciting. I've known Scott and Leah Rain for about a year. My husband and Scott both work at the same company. They are such fun people. Last time we hung out, they mentioned they were looking for a little bit of help with a few rooms in their house. Lucky for them, design is what I do best. They're about to see firsthand what a difference a day makes. So I just pulled up to the Rain family home and clearly they have no idea I'm here. They're washing their car. Of course she's drinking. Mm, that kind of looks good. I do a room, they wash my car. <laughs> I am so excited to give them a dream room in a day. Hey guys, how are you? Hey Amy. So uh, what are you doing? We're washing the car. What are you doing here? Well, I was in the neighborhood and I thought I might pop by and see if y'all would like a dream room in a day. A dream room in a day? Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. and like now. Now? Yeah, like get rid of that and let's go. Let's go! Let's do it! I'm Leah. I'm Scott. And we're, we're, we're the, the Rains! <laughs> when Amy said dream room in a day, we really didn't know what to expect. Then we still kind of don't. But we can't wait to find out. Both of us were born and raised in St. Louis. High school sweethearts. Uh, we've lived here for about Five, and a half? five years, yeah. a little over five years. We really love it here. We plan on having a family. Scott works as an architect mostly from home, but the design in his office has been sort of neglected. So today, I'm giving it a much needed facelift. He's tried some do it yourself projects. They went mostly all right. Let's just say, once again, we're very excited she's here to help us. We're very excited. Tell me a little bit about your space. Um, it's an office, you know, I get my work done, but it's kind of blah. Okay, sounds very welcoming. It's functional, um, but it's it's not very lively. Okay, it needs a little love. It yeah, needs... it needs a little something. Okay, well why don't we uh, head on in and see what I'm getting myself into. Have a look. We have a lot of um, gray in here. Yeah. A lot of gray. We also have some paint lines. Um, these doors feel a little dated. I see what you mean. I wouldn't want to hang out in this room. No, 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 no. All right, so um, now that I've taken in all of this gray, I'm getting a little bit of a vision here, but I want to know, how do you use this space? Tell me about it. Um, it's my workspace, and I can get work done down here, but it's, um, I don't know, it's, it's a little disjointed, it's, uh, it's plain, it's, it's boring. I, I, I want something that's more me, uh, maybe something a little more masculine, or something that inspired some creativity. It doesn't really feel like my office. There is no creativity that can come out of that space right now. All right, something that just feels a little bit more fresh, more creative. Yeah. All right. I used to have an office upstairs, but we decided to turn that into a second bedroom. So we just sort of shoved everything into this room. It's nice, because it's definitely quiet for meetings and, and video conferences, but 
I have been spending a lot more time in here lately, and um, I'd like it if it felt a little more personalized and also a little more functional. It kind of feels like a forgotten space. We have some work to accomplish in here. Yeah. We do. I see where you're coming from. But guess what? We can do it. We can make this fantastic. It's a little basement-y, but I mean, we can pull this together. I have a great product and it's gonna change the entire look of this space. I see it in my mind already. There's texture, there's interest, and with a new color. I think it could lead you down that creative pathway that you're trying to get to. I'm still a little like, can this be done in a whole day? That's what they say. Yeah, we'll see. Yet to be seen. <laughs> We've got one day. We gotta get this done. We need to get started right now. Okay. You ready? After you. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. I'll be really impressed if Amy can pull this off in a day. Scott's office lacks character first and foremost, and my favorite way to add character to any space is with texture. So I went over to ATI Decorative Laminate's easy to use website to search for something that would work for Scott and his space. Alternate spaces that aren't primary rooms like the living room or kitchen often take the back burner and can be overlooked when applying your personal style to your space. Miraflex is a fast and simple fix to forgotten spaces because it is a convenient product for adding dimension, texture, and an element of fun. For Scott's office, I chose the beehive pattern in Argent Silver from ATI Decorative Laminates. Silver is a great base color as it exhibits a boldness while also blending well with a variety of design choices, colors, and patterns. The texture is interesting and intriguing, which will add excitement to the space and hopefully spark some creativity for Scott while he's drawing and sketching structures of his own. So one of the things I love about Miraflex is the fantastic texture it offers. It really brings interest to a space, especially for a creative space like Scott's office. I love big, bold colors, so I was definitely excited to hear that Scott does as well. Selecting a bold color of paint is a great start to a more masculine space. Many of my clients are hesitant when I suggest something this bold but once I convince them to trust me, they are always pleasantly surprised with their results. Big colors create distinction and they make it feel like each decision was a deliberate choice rather than an accident. Whenever possible, I like to paint not only the walls, but the ceiling as well to make the space feel thought out and cohesive. When designing a home office, I try to eliminate clutter and the possibility of clutter developing in the future. Creating clean lines and providing a designated place for every item in the room will ensure that everything remains in its place. Warm wood tones that come with a new desk, new shelving and seating, as well as rustic wall art will bring a more handsome and masculine feel to the room and create a space that Scott can truly call his own. So Scott, when we were last year, you had an office space that lacked a little bit of coziness. Yeah. Kind of felt a little hodgepodge. Yeah. Maybe didn't really feel like you? Definitely. Well, I cannot wait for you to see your new space. Major transformation. Are you excited? I am very excited, yes. Are you ready? I am very ready, yes, let's do it. Let's go. Okay. Why am I so nervous? Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. This is so fantastic. I love the color of Scott's office. This is great. This is, look at this. This is, 
This feels like my desk. I love this lamp. The walls are awesome. This is great. I, I don't know what to say, I love it. I'm floored. This feels like my office now. I love this. I, I'm gonna be very happy to spend the work day in here. I'm so glad you love it. I know one of the things that we talked about was that you really wanted to have a creative feel in here. By utilizing the beehive pattern with Miraflex, I really felt like that pattern spoke to creativity. I love the beehive texture that we use on the walls. It's fun, it's handsome, it's masculine, and it really pairs well with that color that we placed on the walls and the ceiling. The warm wood tones really brought that cohesiveness together. No more hodgepodge. No, no, this is, this is focused, this is creative, this is definitely my space now. And then what do you think of the color? It's awesome, it's, it's, it's dark and it feels manly without, you know, overdoing it, I guess. It's, I feel very much at home in here. Oh, perfect, that's exactly what I was going for. This is great, thank, thank you, thank you. How did you do this in a day? <gasps> oh my god! Did you see this? I did. It's 3D. Do you love it? I, I mean, I, yeah, I'm, I'm a little speechless. This is, this is so great. Did you hear that? She's speechless. That doesn't happen very often. <laughs> It's fantastic. Oh my god. I really do. Can't get over this stuff. No. It's so cool. Yeah, the texture is amazing. Yeah. This is, Amy, you, um, I could have never even thought this. This is, this is so neat. I love it. This is so neat. Oh, Thank you. good. I'm so glad that you guys love it. I feel like it really fit exactly what Scott was looking for. Yeah. Some of this stuff I didn't even know I wanted. It's awesome. <laughs> I cannot believe this all started with the car wash. I can't believe she get it done in one day. I know. Oh my god. I really do. Oh my god. I really do. It's perfect. And, and he loves it so much. I'm I'm so happy that he finally has his own space. I love the creativity that Scott is now going to be able to have in his office. Come back, please. Oh yes, please do. I'm Amy Studebaker, and I cannot wait to see you on the next Dream Room in a Day.